a rectangular prism. Now, what is a rectangular prism? A rectangular prism, as you can see, again, we have the base air. Can you see the base air again? And then we also have the ceiling. This could be our ceiling of the room. After that, we have this side, and then we also have this side. Again. And then we have the front side, and then we also have what? The back side. So what is going to be the area of this thing? If I say calculate the area of this prism, I can't talk about the area. I'm going to be talking about the surface area. So what is going to be the surface area of this thing? Is the sum of the all the rectangles. There are six rectangles here. So what is it that Elena needs to know? Then? Elena just needs to know what is the area of a rectangle? Because a prism is made by how many uh, rectangles? It's made by how many rectangles? Six of them. Does it make sense? Then if you say, look at the following. If you take this part, this one is the length multiplied by P. Can you see length multiplied by P? How many of the L multiplied by P do you have? Remember, this one, if this is L, what is going to be this one here? What is this line here? This line is also L. If this one is P, what do you expect this one to be here? P. So this one is also going to be length multiplied by what? By, by P. Then 2LP, you're going to have two of them. It's the top and the what? And the, and the bottom. And then you have L multiplied by H. I'm on L and H. So you have L, you also have H. You have L and then you have multiplied by what? By, by H. How many L multiplied by H do you have? You have one and then you also have what? Two. Then, all in all, this is going to be our surface area. What else should let us know? As soon as we have three-dimensional figures, we start to speak about the volume. The space can be occupied now. What is a volume then? Volume, it's simple. As long as you know the base area, you're simply going to multiply that with the height. Once you know the base area, you're going to multiply it with the height. As long as you know the base area, then you are fine. You are going to multiply it with the, with the, with the height. Now, um, see now when we're going to be doing our work, you'll see something like this. It's going to be a combination of figures, some of them. Some of them we can be given one figure. Some of them is going to be a combination. What are some of the shapes that Elena should be aware of? This is what Elena should be aware of. Um, we have a triangular prism. And then this is going to be provided to you. For today, we're going to be using it. We're going to be looking at it. You just have to know it. And then... We have pyramids. We have what we call a triangular pyramid. And then it has its own volume. It also has its own surface area. We have a rectangular pyramid. It also has its own volume. It also has its own surface area. Now we have something called a cylinder. A cylinder, it has a volume. And then it also has the surface area. We have something called a sphere. A sphere, an example of a sphere is what we call planet Earth. No? Uh, if you go to planet Earth, uh, you go and visit planet Earth, the shape of Earth, it's in a spherical shape. No? And then what is going to be the volume? The volume is going to be four all over three and then it's pi r cubed. And then the surface area, it's four pi r squared. That is the, vo uh, that is the area. And then we also have this one. This one, it's something that we use, man. It's a cone. Yeah, and then when you buy an ice cream, this is what they're going to do. They're going to combine this one and this one. You should have seen that. If you're going to for ice cream, they take this one plus this one. And then they make a, an ice cream for you. So we have the volume for the cone, and then we also have the surface area for the what for them for the cone. So what I want us to do now with the activity then, I want us to be able to calculate the volume and the surface area. The formulas are going to be given for today. The formulas are going to be given. So now we just go to the formulas and then we calculate the volume and the what and then in the surface area. So what am I going to do for you? I'm do I'm going to do number one for you. And then if I do number one, when I will come and do number two and number three and number four. They say that you mind the volume. Now, what are the shapes that you see here with number one? Tell me what are the shapes that you see with number one? Identify the shapes that we see here. What do you see? What is this thing? What is the shape here on top? This one, it's a cone, okay? Okay, it means which I'm going to tell them which I'm going to get the volume of a cone, number one. Let's go and check with you what is the volume of a cone. Let's go and check the volume of a cone. What is the volume of a cone? It's one all over three, okay? Pi R squared multiplied by what? By, by H. Okay, let's go and write it then. So we say which we have one all over three, okay? Multiplied by pi R squared multiplied by what? By H. This is the volume of a what? This is a volume of a cone. Now, is it, do we only have the cone here? 
What else do we have? We have a cylinder. Okay? So I'm going to say if I combine the uh, if I combine the volume of a cone and the volume of a cylinder. So I'm going to have the volume of a cylinder. Now, what is the volume of a cylinder? Let's go and check. We don't know for today. This, this is still new for us. No? And then, Mara, lower grades, we should have done these things. But I'm not charging. That's why we don't know. What is the volume of a cylinder? It's pi r squared h, okay? Okay, I'm going to tell them, with, ah, Mara, this thing is simple. This one is going to be pi r squared h. Like this, okay? So this is a cylinder, and then this is what? This is what? This is a cone. Now, let's go and check these things. Now, we're going to collect the data now. H of the cone, so we can take out the cone. What is the height of the cone? It's 21. It's not 29. For 29, it's L. It's the slant height. We call it the slant height. Né? And then, what is R of the cone? Let's collect the data for, we'll tell them which H we know. This is H of the cone. I'm going to call it H of the cone so that you know. There's an H of the cone, there's H of the cylinder. Okay? So what is H of the cone? It's 21 centimeter. What is R? The R of the cone and the R of the cylinder, they're exactly identical. Okay? What is R? R is the radius. Okay? So we have a line drawn from the center to a circumference. Do we know what is this? Do we know what is this? We don't know it. Okay? But using our, our, our experience from lower grades, can we, can we get this? What kind, of a, what kind of a shape is this thing here? It's a right angle triangle. Okay? Wow. <laughs> Have you seen right angles triangles before? Yeah. I'm a right angle triangle. Guess how I want it before. Right? Okay, if there's a 90 degree here, we can use trick ratios. Okay? So here we have 29. Here we have 21. Okay? See, now we're looking for this one. Right? How can we get that one? We are using Pythagoras. Okay? What does Pythagoras say? It says R squared. Right? What is our hypotenuse side here? It's 29 all squared. Right? It's going to be equal to 21 all squared right? plus R all squared. Take this one to this other side. It says 29 all squared right? plus 21 mm -hmm. all squared. So what about that? Minus. Eh? Minus. This is going to give us what? R squared. Right? And then CT root, CT root. And then Square root has a plus and a minus. Okay? It says R is going to be plus and a minus 20. Therefore, which one are we going to take? Positive or negative? Why the plus, uh, child? We're dealing with the length of something. Yeah, we'll come and tell them, okay, this is R. R is 20 centimeters. Now let's go and calculate the volume of this thing. Simple. Let's go and substitute. V of the cone is going to be given by one, three. Where do I get the formula? I said, let's go and copy the formula. You saw today I was copying the formula. And then you should see some of the questions that we're going to be doing. They give us these things. So one all over three multiplied by pi. English. Multiplied by, we know what is R. What is R? It's 20, all squared. English. Multiplied by, what is the height of this thing? It's 21. And then after that, we're going to try to type this in our calculator and then see what do we get. Type this in your calculator. Let's see what do you get. You have one all over three. Multiply by the pi. When you get pi, you say shift and then you press 10. And then you say multiply by 20 all squared. Okay? Multiply by you can put it inside the bracket just to be on the safe side. 21 equals to it gives you 2800 pi. Now we're going to round off our answer to two decimal places. If we round this off to two decimal places, we're going to say CD and it gives us 8796,46. And then this is centimeters. If you're talking about a volume, if volume is going to be cubed, whatever, whatever units that you have, it's cubed. Yeah? So you're going to have centimeter cubed. This is also when we go to questions whereby we are given the volume or the area. If you don't know whether you're given a volume or the area, you'll see here, if it's cubed, it's a volume. If it's squared, it's an area. So what is this? This is the volume of a what? 
This is the volume of the what of the of the coal. Let's get the volume of the cylinder then. Take your cylinder. Let's use a different color for the cylinder. What is the height of the cylinder? The height of the cylinder is what? It's eight centimeters. What is the radius of the cylinder then? It's 20 centimeters. Eh? And then what is the formula to calculate the volume of a cylinder? It's pi r squared multiplied by what? By h. And then it says pi, Anish. Multiplied by 20 all squared multiplied by eight. And if you do this, you get 3,200 pi. Anish. Now, you know, we don't want our answer in pi. We want it in decimals. What is going to be answer in decimal? 10,000. And 53, comma, one, zero, like this. This is going to be centimeter what? Cubed. I will say fine again. So what is going to be the total volume? What is going to be the total volume then? Is this volume again? Plus this volume. If you add those two, you are going to say is the volume of the cone plus the volume of the cylinder. And then you get what? 18,000, if you add this two, you get 6,000 pi first, again. What is 6,000 pi? If you say you have 2,800 pi plus 3,200 pi, you get 6,000 pi. And what you get is the decimal, this thing. Is what? 18, yeah. 849, comma, 56. This is going to be centimeter what? Cubed. This is the volume of this thing, yeah. What is going to be the volume? This is what this thing can occupy. This is what this thing can occupy. Are we together then? Now, one number two, what do they want? They want the surface area. So if you want to get the surface area, what are we going to say for the surface area? We're still at number one again. Surface area, we're going to say SA of the cone. Let's go and check the surface area of a cone. We're copying today. Let's go and copy the surface area of the cone. What is the surface area of the cone? It's pi r multiplied by L plus pi r squared. So it's the area of the it's area of the circle and the area of the cone. So this is going to be pi r squared L, like this, huh? plus pi r squared, like this. Yeah. Ah, we can always go back and check. Yeah. There's no squared. There's no squared. So it's pi r L, ne? no squared. Pi r L multiplied by pi r squared. This is the cone. Let's go back to our cone. What is the height of the cone? 21 centimeters. Yeah, and then we go and substitute here. If we go and substitute, what are we going to have? We have pi multiplied by r. What is our r? We got our r. It's 20. Ne? R is 20. Ne? What is L? L is not a change. What is L? L, we are more L to move by. It's 29. Multiply by 29 plus we are going to have pi multiplied by 20 all squared. And then you type this in your calculator. Is what? It's 980 pi. Okay, in decimals, what do you get? It's 3078. It's 3078, comma. Seven six, and then this is going to be centimeter squared since it's an area. It's going to be centimeter squared. What else do we have? We have the surface area of a cylinder. So I'm going to say S A of a cylinder. What is going to be the surface area of a cylinder? Let's go and check. We don't know. Let's go and check it. They say the surface area of a closed cylinder is going to be given by two pi r squared plus. 2 pi r h. We go and write it exactly the way it is. 
it's 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h, like this. Then. And then, which, okay, Mara, now we're talking about the cylinder. What is the height of the cylinder? The height of the cylinder is 8. And you should always remember that. Okay, let's go and substitute then. We have 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by r. r is the same for both of them. So this is going to be 20 all squared plus 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by r, which is 20, multiplied by h, which is 8. This is the height of the cylinder. If you just take only the cylinder, or you can do this. If you feel what this is complicated for you, just highlight the cylinder. Okay, this is the cylinder part. Eh? You just highlight the cylinder and then you deal with it. And then after that, you highlight the cone and then you deal with it. If you type that in your calculator, what did you get? What you get, Masha? 1,110 and 20. Eh? This is pi. Eh? What is going to be the total surface area? We're going to say SA total is going to be given by 1,120 pi plus 980 pi, which is this one, 980 pi. And then it gives us what? 2,100. 2,100 pi. And then what is going to be the total surface area then? It's 6,000, 6,597, comma, 3, 4. This is going to be centimeter squared. And then this is what I expect from you, my learners. If it's a combination, you combine the two different shapes that you have. And then if it's only one shape, you simply do that one shape. Do number two as a classwork. The rest is 